this afternoon from Kemper Arena Championship Week. Brought to you by 7-Up Continues. And today, a jam-packed house for the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship. It's the Sooners taking on the Cyclones. The top four seeds made it to the semis yesterday, but Oklahoma State and Texas went home. And today, it's Oklahoma and Iowa State. Hi, everybody. Ron Franklin along with John Sunbold. And welcome to Kansas City, Missouri, in what should be a really outstanding matchup this afternoon. Pfizer, we know a lot about Marcus Nahara. We know a lot about him. But I think probably the matchup we need to talk about, John, is the Johnson boys, one for each team. It has right. made a definite difference as far as making it to the championship. Well, let's talk about Nolan Johnson first at Oklahoma. Last three ball games, over 19 points a game. Another offensive weapon. Not only that, he's a great defender. Stevie Johnson, let's not say garbage player, folks. He does everything about himself. 16 rebounds on the Friday win over Baylor. Yesterday against Oklahoma State, 21 points, 11 rebounds. He does everything on the floor. Now he scores points. This is the way the starting lineups are going to go today. First of all, for the Oklahoma Sooners, the number three seed in this tournament, Raymond Price Johnson Nahar and Renzi Stone, 31 points for Eduardo yesterday against the Texas Longhorns. And for the top seed, the Cyclones of Iowa State, Tinsley, Nurse, Horton as they go with the three-guard rotation, Stevie Johnson and Marcus Pfizer. Marcus with 19 points yesterday, 30 points in five of his last seven games. Well, without a doubt, the best offensive player in college basketball is Marcus Pfizer. You mentioned the 30 points. Average 33 coming into the tournament, started with 38 points on Friday night. Eduardo. The heart and soul of his Oklahoma team. It's not even an arguable thing. He just, that's the way it is. Marcus Pfizer, well, a lot of people in other parts of the country have not seen this young man play. He is a junior, and he really has come on for Iowa State in a way that I think maybe even the coaches are a little bit surprised. He is outstanding and quite a physical young fella. 6'8", 265 pounds. Tip will go to Pfizer. And it's Iowa State on offense first. Two outstanding defensive teams. They will mix, match it up. They will say man to man, then they'll switch it sometime to a zone defense. It's Oklahoma team. Starting now, man to man. The quick double team on Pfizer puts it on the floor, loses it. J.R. Raymond, Oklahoma. Raymond for three. Can light it up, but he misses on that one. Stone tried to chip it back, but it is Johnson who comes away with it. And bounce pass to Pfizer. Oh, he man. scores it, and he was fouled by, jo by Stone. The hands and the finish. The pass by Jamal Tinsley. They're all conference first team point guard. Iowa State loves to push the basketball. Not a very big team. Tinsley outstanding when he has it. Look at the bounce pass. More importantly, look at the catch and the finish. Well, I talked about the strength of Pfizer, and there is a great example right there that Stone could not yank his arm away from the basketball. The young man plays with such a focus and a purpose on the floor. Rarely loses his concentration. Misses the free throw. But Iowa State goes on top, two to nothing. The officials today, veteran crews, Steve Welmer, the referee, Scott Thornley, and Tom O'Neill, the umpires in this one. Raymond must be careful with the basketball. Tinsley, quick game. Nurse against Price, pass inside, quick hands by Johnson, but taken right back for the Sooners. Stevie Johnson guarding Eduardo Nahara, tough matchup both ways. Shot clock under 10. Nahara with the reverse, and he'll knock down his first two of the afternoon. We have seen Eduardo lack some confidence late in this season scoring the basketball. Yesterday exploded with 31 already. Looked to take it to where he could score it in about the 10-foot range. And particularly in the second half of the game against Texas yesterday, his confidence seemed to really soar. Bouncer to Pfizer. Give the assist to Stevie Johnson, and very easy hoop for the Cyclone. Unselfish basketball. Oh, what a great matchup between these two clubs. Pfizer with the first four points of the afternoon for Iowa State. Almost stolen again. That time Nurse, and he does cause the turnover. Price couldn't hold on. And, Ron, you understand when you watch Iowa State warm up, they will not impress you in warm ups. They have Pfizer at 6 8, and then everybody else is 6 4 and under. So you're not impressed until you watch them play. Defensively outstanding, they get after you. Offensively, they take the right shots at the right time. Well, you could see J.R. Raymond talking with his head coach, or listening as the case was right there, and getting an earful. He'll be back in shortly. Newton, number 20, in the lineup replacing him. Pfizer can shoot it from outside. 
And Tinsley, here's the guy. That ball touched by Naharan and missed by Stevie Johnson, but he touched it. Two turnovers, Iowa State. Strength of Iowa State is Tinsley with the ball getting to the paint. Rarely can any defender keep that young man out of the paint. Maybe the best ball handler in college basketball. You won't get any disagreement from any of the other 11 teams in the Big 12 Conference. Newton left alone, passed up the shot, drives it. Pfizer intimidates, can't get it to go. And Stone gets the rebound, but a whistle inside. Well, they met one time this year, north against south, won by Oklahoma in double overtime. And Raymond and Heskett with six three-point field goals each. Ball game. Heskin was a difference. Sooners led by as many as 16. A couple plays down the stretch. Iowa State had a chance to win. Tinsley missed a layup. Michael Nurse missed a free throw. Went to another overtime. And then the second one, Oklahoma. Blew Iowa State out. Tough thing for J.R. Raymond. He's sitting there not back at the game yet as Pfizer scores point number six. Well, he's having to get an earful again because Newton just turned it over. The guards are not playing well for Oklahoma right now. Outstanding offensive low post position by Pfizer. He is a low down low. Nahara makes the reversal, can't get it to go, tipped back out, and Stone will solidify it with a new 35 for the Sooners, and then they turn it over. Another turnover. Nurse for three. This thing right now going the pace I think that Iowa State wants and certainly not to the advantage of Oklahoma. Exactly right. Oklahoma wants to get half court set. They're very efficient on their offensive end, but four turnovers already. Johnson on the floor. Does he call a timeout? No, gets it away to Nahara. And he is fouled by Tinsley. Let's take a look offensively. Marcus Pfizer again can go outside, but likes to work inside. He puts Eduardo Nahara on his back. It's good low post position in the pass right on the button. And Eduardo very wisely. No sense in getting a cheap foul there because the big ship has already gone out of the harbor. Well, you take a look at his numbers against Baylor. Big tourney record, big 12 tournament record, 38 points, 12 of 13 from the foul line on Friday night. Just simply dominated that ball game. And how about his start here this afternoon? Three up three, every shot from point blank range. Great assist from his teammates. Where he's become more valuable this season, Ron, is his patience on the offensive end. Does not worry if he's not scoring the basketball. Will step away if he's double teamed. Can go outside and shoot it. Eduardo, a young guy that is Avila checks into the lineup. Another youngster from, from Mexico who is from the West Coast, west of Mexico City. He's a 6'11 young fellow. Six to four, Iowa State, as we're about to have played the first four minutes of this championship game. And Kelvin Sampson will change his defense, go to more of a soft zone. Pfizer was dominating inside. You've got to be careful of Nurse and Horton now with the jump shots. And Tinsley will still penetrate against his zone. Potentially, you could see him point and say, give me a screen. But he squared up and missed the jumper. Up of two guys from Brooklyn, Tinsley on Nolan Johnson. Newton left along. Boy, he almost missed everything. Oh, what a pass. Great no look and a block inside by Avila on Stevie Johnson. Iowa State wanted a foul on that. A foul. Smart play by Stevie Johnson. He really enticed Eduardo Nahara to take the jump shot. It has not been Eduardo's strength this season. So let's take a break. 15-41 left. It is Big 12 Championship. Cyclones by a couple. Team for Iowa State, part of them. Last night, they defeated Texas by 10 points here in Kansas City to win the Big 12 title. Where will they go and where will the Cyclones be seated? Well, a lot of people think it certainly will be very high, at least a four or a three seed. So be 
defense got to stay with Pfizer if he goes outside. Ow. Well, first shot that he's missed. Johnson, nice work on the board. And he has it stripped. J.R. Raymond comes away with Stevie it. Johnson having a harder time this afternoon against the taller Oklahoma team. Bobby Lyon, not around. Interesting that Oklahoma has gotten off to a little bit of a rugged start offensively, but yet they're keeping it very close with a 6-4 margin right now. Nolan Johnson quiet so far. Has a look to score. Misses that one badly. Tipped by Nahara, and it'll come back down to Iowa State. Stevie Johnson working against Avila. Score it, and he was fouled. Again, the push of the basketball by Tinsley. What Iowa State wants to do is just find openings, and Tinsley will find you. Stevie Johnson running the floor. Good ball fake down low. He did this often yesterday against Oklahoma State. We mentioned his 21 points. There's a reaction from the senior. His last trip to Kansas City. Boy, how about that? Impressive so far in this tournament play. Misses on the free throw, but Pfizer is right there, and he'll follow it and miss the return. And Tinsley just picked up his second foul. Decided he was going to sneak up and try to catch J.R. Raymond off guard, and they're going to have to be very careful. In fact, quickly, Hawkins is off the bench. Well, not a smart foul, obviously. Tinsley shakes his head, understands the mistake, and now he has to sit down changes the scope of how Iowa State plays just a little bit. Michael Nurse there off guard. He can handle the basketball. Last year he was a port guard. Horton can handle the basketball. Bryce, that ball touched last by Hawkins. Hawkins goes up and over the table. John Brody of uh, the Oklahoma City paper. Daily Oklahoma. Nice job. Good hands. John. 